I know a few years ago you were you were struggling through. You had a back injury. Uh, oh. before, uh, you you feeling good this oh. this go around? Those were the dark days. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt my back so bad. I threw it out on a on the on the Thursday pro am, hitting out of a sand trap. <laughs> Just torqued it so bad, and I went down to my knees. I thought, oh, no. Good shot, though? It just got – Good, good, good shot, oh, though. Oh, smoked it. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> worth it. It was worth it, then. And by smoked it, I mean it hit the <laughs> lip, shot straight up, and basically came right down five feet away It wasn't DeChambeau? It no, wasn't <laughs> no. like that one. Oh, no, that was a great that shot. Was amazing, that was yeah. a once-in-a-lifetime. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he deserved the championship yours for that was shot a life, alone. Yours yeah. was a once-in-a-lifetime, Pretty too. much. It was pretty much once-in-a-lifetime uh, from a dork factor. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I uh, for the next three days I was in just absolute pain. Could I couldn't even bear, I could barely tee up my ball. I had to squat down like a ballerina does those pirouettes. <laughs> I couldn't bend over, so I had to, I had to do deep knee bends to put my <laughs> it squats. Was, it was a joke. It was bad. So you were actually following the chiropractor's uh, advice to bend with your knees. It's your knees yes. not bend over at the waist. Yes. You're like, see, look, I'm doing it now. Well, it was funny too because the you know. I couldn't swing the golf club. I couldn't swing it. So I was doing this little half. It looked like Tim Conway, <laughs> Dorf on golf or whatever. You know, it was, it was old man golf, old man golf. And and I played three days with barely swinging, swinging old and slow. And I shot the exact same I would have <laughs> shot as if I was swinging out of my shoes. There's a so lesson there. There is a lesson. And, and I did <laughs> With such minimal effort, I did the exact same thing. So I learned a valuable lesson, which is yeah. don't, you don't have to swing so hard. What's it, the excuse this year, though? So well, you, I've you, got so many. I've got so many you great. Got pre-plan them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I've got tendonitis in the elbow. Oh, there you go. Uh, something's going on with my Achilles. I don't know what it is. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. It could pop any time. It could pop. Like I feel like a rubber band being stretched. Because <laughs> even my knee, the, the, what is that tendon in the front of your knee? I went down to look at a putt on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Something game. I swear, <laughs> everything on me is like just ready to break. Well, you know, golf is a very physical sport. We know this, Th- and that's what makes everybody la- die laughing. They're like, "It's the w- how do you get hurt playing golf? Very easily, very easily. <laughs> yeah, you try hitting out of that sand trap. Are you kidding? Me? Exactly. I don't know Thank what that you. Was very like. Not to mention, by the way, we are up at altitude. We're at sixty-eight hundred feet uh, up here in Tahoe, and. Um, if you walk this course, it's a six and a half mile, seven mile walk in this in the mountains. It's it's a hilly, yeah. hilly course. And the way I play it, it's like a ten mile walk. Okay, <laughs> a little ever so, around. <laughs> I cover this course. I go back, I zigzag around this course. Well, you want to see it all. Yeah. Why yeah. walk right down the middle when you can actually see the scenery? Thank you. It's so beautiful. I'm not sense. passing up any of this. I'm soaking it all up. How many but, fours today? What's the over under? For what? How many times you yell four? Oh, my God. Was it three and a half over it, under? It, well, I'd say 18. 18 holes, <laughs> about 18 times. <laughs> we, our first day, Tuesday, we were, we're broadcasting, and uh, people are on the driving range, and uh, we get here, and all of a sudden in the back room, you're four. I'm like, I've never heard somebody yell four on a driving range before. Yeah. It wasn't you. I'm well, you saying. guys are actually uh, – you guys have got a great setup this year. Instead of being over there by the, the food tent, you guys are over here, and you are actually looking at everybody on the driving range and you're in a weird kind of 45-degree angle <laughs> off oh. the range. So if somebody chili dips it, oh, yeah, you're going to catch a hot one. We've had a few shanks over here. This tree has been a lifesaver. Uh, <laughs> this tree has got a lot. I bet. Derek Carr came over and apologized yesterday. <laughs> Derek Carr hit a whole bunch. Go, yeah, your balls are all littered around here. He's just still mad from the Raider days, right? No, that's, that's what right. he was aiming for. He, he, he saw you guys were KC, and well, he was like, yeah. these, I'm going to give these guys a little taste. We interviewed him the, like the, the, <laughs> right before, like that morning, and then he comes over in the afternoon and hitting golf balls yeah. and shit. I'm like, was it that bad? <laughs> <laughs> interview was that bad, Derek. <laughs> Just say, hey, you didn't enjoy it. You don't have to go. That's very passive aggressive, Derek. Okay. It's so fun to watch all these uh, uh, athletes and mm. and coaches because they're 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 obviously they're great in their field, right? But they can't turn off the co- the competitiveness. Right. They can't turn it off. It's a friendly, happy, wonderful tournament. But it's hilarious when they get out there. They're so hungry to, to play well and do well that when they have a bad hole or whatever, they just – you could feel the club be wanting to break in Mike hands. Vrabel, I feel yes. like, is a guy that I do not want to be with if he hits a bad shot. And especially the guys that are retired, it's like this is an opportunity again to get that competitive juice. To Absolutely. Get, to get what it feels like. He'll be around the guys. And, and they miss the competition. They want the competition. Now, for the knuckleheads like me and the cable guy, <laughs> and, you, just, know, and, you know, some of these other guys, yeah. we're like, whatever, man. Watch it. Everyone just be safe. It's funny, too, because 
Like I've been out with cable guys specifically, and he'll he'll tell people, "Hey guys, I need y'all to back up. You know, give me some room on this." Yeah. And they'll laugh and they go, "Go on, cable guy, you're the best. Uh, get her done." <laughs> He's like, "I'm serious. I don't want to hurt anybody." <laughs> and they keep laughing, and he goes, "Okay." And he, sure enough, he just puts one right in someone's kneecap. Oh man! And uh, he he always feels bad, but I I'm like, "You warned him, man. You warned him. They if they don't listen, it's on them." That's it's all like them. A, a Travis yeah. told Jason. Jason was worried about uh, his uh, first time being in the American City yeah. Championship and all the spectators and the fans and Travis said if you hit them don't worry about it they bought tickets to an amateur tournament exactly <laughs> they bought tickets to watch amateurs play golf what do you what do you expect yeah. fair warning fair yeah. warning well, and they right. get the ball right you get to, you get to go home with a souvenir at that point <laughs> right uh, uh, exactly so exactly. yeah take a picture of whatever the knot is on the leg or the head <laughs> or whatever that might be uh you always get a chance to MC celebrity karaoke too and that was last night and that was yeah. a, a ton of fun that uh, was that, that fun. took place and Kelsey Travis yep. um, gets off a plane, and we didn't know, like, okay, is he going to help MC this year with Rob like he did last year, but Brian Baumgartner did mm -hmm. uh, last night. And then we're like, well, I didn't know if Kelsey was going to be there. And then he's on stage. Yeah. Not only did he show up, he goes right on stage and uh, rocks some white snake. <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, Travis impresses me. He continues to impress me every day. Just when I'm like, man, that guy's top of the top. He tops that. <laughs> it's really impressive. He, he was filming something all day. He jumps uh, on a plane, gets up here, gets off the plane, gets in the car, drives straight to the stage, gets out of the car, runs from the car to the stage, and nails Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. Nailed it. Bold choice, by the way. I mean, that, that, that's, that's no tequila oh, that, where you can yeah. sing one word. Exactly. He's leaning into it. He's bringing it. Uh, and and dominated, and then walked off to to the uh, applause and praise of everyone in the crowd. Yeah, and the performance too. He wasn't just singing; he exactly. was performing. He was performing. It's almost like he came from oh, I don't know, filming all day, like yes, you said. Yes, <laughs> it was it was truly amazing. Uh, if if uh, Tony Katain, God rest her, uh, if she was there last night, she would have started dancing yeah. right there on the stage. It was that powerful. Yeah, would have brought a, a car out for her. Brought yeah, a car yes. out. And yeah, then. That's right. We yes. were we were. Uh, my wife and I talked to uh, Kylie Kelsey last night after Travis's performance, yeah. and, and uh, we were talking to her about that. And she goes, "Look." Everybody loves Travis, and I told him, I'm going to be your number one humbler, okay? And so there were only a few boos from me. It was just at the beginning. The boos were just at the beginning. I let him go ahead and perform, but I just want to make sure he knows that somebody has to humble him from time to time, and I feel like that's my job as his yeah. sister-in-law. There's too many There's too many humblers out there. I, uh, last night, so as, as my hosting, you know, part of my hosting yeah. gig, I always take the first song to get the ball rolling. Yeah, Stones, by the way, to do that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. Right, and it, it never goes well. It never goes well. The 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 uh, monitor guy that has the words, and the, he always screws with me. <laughs> he always screws with me. So you know the words. He was scrolling them so slowly. We were past, <laughs> we were past the. I was like, well, we're out of lyrics. So now we're winging it. Um, but uh, so at the end of the night, they you know we voted. We went down by crowd applause, and we we uh, mm -hmm. we said uh, Baumgartner said, well, how, how about Riggle? and. All you had to do was not clap. <laughs> yeah, that's all you had to do. But there was a section over to the left that was boo. I was like, hold on, hold on. Just just don't clap. You don't have to boo. That seems like you're really leaning into it. That's overly, that's overkill. No sound, yeah. I'm eliminated. Exactly. Booing, you're actually, yeah. it's counterproductive because exactly. now you're making sound. Now I've actually yeah. moved on to the semifinals. It, it was you. actually a woo. It was a woo, <laughs> not a boo. They were wooing you. Well, listen, I'm, I, w I deserved to be booed. It's not, the, the performance was not Nobody great. Nobody that but, gets up there deserves to be but booed. But at the same time, it's like now you're just wasting our time. Like you know, you're filling time with booze. We should be moving on <laughs> yeah. to the next thing. Plus, I was disqualified from the beginning anyway because I was one right. of the judges. You so. can't win. That, that's exactly. just unfair. Exactly. It's unfair. Thank you. By yes. the way, you saw a little that that, that that some tree come on you, right? You saw that. Yeah. Uh, that was because a ball hit the tree. That's that's I'm telling you. This tree is a lifesaver, <laughs> yeah. man. When you see some things fall from the tree, we know that we were at least somewhat in the direction of a golf ball that went errant from somebody yeah. on the driving range. Well. Those you tell happen. me. I'll, I'll actually, because I got my back to the driving range, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you guys are facing the driving range. So yeah. if I see your eyes get really big, yeah, I, there you I go. know you I'm see in trouble. Start yeah, to yeah. do this. Just start. <laughs> Start doing just to, just to mess with you. Uh, that's right. Uh, Rob Riggle is uh, is our guest hanging out at the American Century Championship. Um, one of the things I was wanting to to talk to you about is like, uh, um, you know, we see that. Um, uh, 
um, on HBO. Uh, Larry David finishes up his show uh, in Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I've, I've heard so much about that is, like, how much is written and how much is just ad-libbed. And, like, you know, this year, the two different scenes you're in with, with, uh, with Larry, whether that be at the, the, the breakfast table, the brunch table, or out on the golf course, how much is that ad-libbed and how much is it like, all right, here's some bullet points of what we're going to talk about, or is it these are your lines? No, it's definitely not these are your lines. Um, uh, but they have a gist of what they're yeah. doing. They, they have a, a, an understanding of what the scene is about, yeah. what, what needs to be accomplished in the scene. What needs to be said? What's you know? Sometimes there's some specific words because it pays off later or pays off here. I see. And and they have uh, script supervisors and the directors are, and they have people keeping track of mm-hmm. the, the story, but it, it frees everybody up in the scene to kind of play. And Larry is really gracious, really gracious with letting people play. That's why he invites oh. the people he invites. I think is because he's like, I just he likes their comedy or he likes the fact that they improvise or yeah. whatever. So. Um, that's why he. That's why you're there is to have yeah. fun and, and play. And so, so he's really gracious because you know, I'll throw things. At, I threw a couple things, and 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 he was like, yeah, you know, and, <laughs> and or it got or it, if it tickled him. That that was like if I did something that tickled him, and I, I saw him laugh or whatever. That was like that felt so good. <laughs> that always feels good. Anytime you uh, like, and, and whether it was the other guys or whether it was stepbrother, whatever, anytime I made Will Ferrell smile or laugh or whatever, always made me happy. That's when I felt like, okay, I don't care what I do the rest of the day. This, this is all Are you good. sure is Will Ferrell not Chad Smith? You sure? <laughs> you sure? I Listen, he was playing drums with his pencils, so it could have very easily <laughs> it, it, it been It could have been. Yeah, it could have been. Oh, he was uh, pretty good, though. Uh, it's funny because Will Ferrell gave an interview about James Caan yeah. and said that uh, the whole time James Caan was like, I just don't know, uh, and during filming of Elf. Yeah. And James Caan was like talking to him, was like, I don't find you funny. <laughs> at all. And Will Ferrell was like, it was just weird the whole time. And he's like, you know, anytime somebody asks me, like, Will Ferrell, what's he like? And he's like, I just tell him, sorry, you're not funny to me. Like, I don't know what you're doing. And Will Ferrell was like, he was serious. Yeah. And the whole time he goes, what's crazy about that movie is anytime you see James Caan being annoyed, yeah. he's like, he was actually annoyed yeah. at me during the movie. Just didn't think I was funny. We go to the premiere, we leave, and he goes, I got to tell you, nothing you were doing I thought worked. But now that I've seen it, brilliant. <laughs> Absolute brilliance, and Will Ferrell said that's all I needed to. All I needed. So he said it was actual annoyance on the on the screen. So now next time I watch Elf, I'll be able to see that James Conn was actually annoyed by Will Ferrell while they yeah. were filming it. <laughs> like, I, you know, I, that's funny. another thing too. I never take it personally if someone's like, "You're not my cup of tea, man. Yeah. You're not my cup of tea." I'm like, I get it. Okay, I, there's a lot of actors and comedians out there that's not my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, right. But it doesn't mean I don't appreciate what they're out. I appreciate name the them. effort. Now, now we're going to name them all, and <laughs> yes. we're going to have a. <laughs> But so I, it, but so that, I mean, Nate that, that's, that's okay. why we have so many people. That's why we have so many choices and selections, you yeah. know? Aren't you playing with so. Nate? You're saying that about Nate Bargatze? No, I'm not saying that. I love Nate Bargatze. I love Nate. <laughs> we saw him last night. We, uh, we and I am playing with him bit. today. You are. You've yeah. got a little, uh, got a little uh, uh, comedy trio there. So yeah. one-up each other's the goal? You're going to keep trying to keep it going? Uh, you can't one-up him. Or, or it's going to be the improv he, where everyone goes one word at a time, and you have to keep the story going. Nate is, you know, he's stiff upper lip, so if I get him to smile i always feel like that's an accomplishment that's too you know that's i'll let exactly. you know i laid the groundwork with him last night to go back to big slick yeah i was just saying you got to go back to big slick he wants to he wants yeah. to yeah he's he's he was so great and when he came in he just crushed it so hard and and he's he's just a good person so yeah. uh i've talked to him as well yeah, <laughs> like, I, I assume you have, yeah. yeah. oh so it's only sterling with that guy <laughs> okay now at least we know now that if nate returns we don't have to hear sterling going see i did well, that. I, I, I was the one that greased the wheels credit. i'm taking credit. Grease yeah. the wheels got that thing rolling man it's all amazing. uh but yeah hopefully he makes it back i hope he does i think he will he seems yeah. like he's he seems like he's down for it with him though it always comes down to schedule the guy's got a monster schedule yeah, yeah. You know, and, and well, you can make this a course, though. <laughs> course. Well, this is now, come on now. This is different. <laughs> Let's not judge anything. Don't be no, so hasty. I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I build, the, I build this into my – this is my – I start with this, and I build around it. You build it, okay. Yes. What's 2025 look like? Well, I know July. I know there's a week in July. 2025 <laughs> is kid. blacked out. I, I do tell my agents and managers, like, yeah, the beginning, from beginning of July to call it the end, you know, July 20th, just don't – I'm not yeah. doing anything. I'm not available. Block it yeah. off. And yeah. then I wait. 
And then I wait and I wait and I wait and I fingers crossed. And then when the invite comes, I'm like, yes, because you never know. <laughs> is so it an email? Is it? A, is it's it an like, email. It's like a big like. Uh, okay, I didn't know if like UPS dropped it off or like oh. they. You got to call like the Hall of Fame. You know. Oh. Yeah. Or the, <laughs> a that guy shows up in a yellow jacket. <laughs> 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 knock at the. You're waiting around. Knock at the door. Like please, please. I got the. Honey, we did yeah. it. Got the invite. Just checking the junk folder. Like oh, please. <laughs> please, it, it please, got please, sent to spam. Please. Got but sent I do. To spam. I got, I'm not. T- I'm not even kidding. Like when the email comes. <laughs> Um, it is. It's kind of. I do. I get up and I'm like, oh yeah. You know, I walk around the office. I'm kind of. It is. It makes the day. It makes. It may even make the week. Let's be honest. Yeah. Is it? it uh, I didn't know if maybe there was a uh, technicality or something that's like, look, Rob, we're gonna have you here, but you do have to MC the karaoke. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, I do that is, just because it's fun. <laughs> yeah. It's, just because. Well, it's because fun. I heard the uh, story that uh, Jeff Passan said that uh, Pete Alonso. Uh, they were trying to find somebody to in the home run derby. They didn't have the names, and Pete Alonso said, "I'll do it again this year as long as I'm an All Star." That's how we got on the All-Star team is because they needed a name in the Home Run Derby. Really? And I'm like, you know what? I guess use it if you can. But it's like that he's feels like illegal. Passes, like he's tampering. not having an All-Star first year. I didn't even know, know it was possible. I didn't either. That's tampering. That, that cannot either. be legal. Oh, but that's from Jeff Passes. That's just good old-fashioned American leverage. That's yeah. exactly right. Look, <laughs> I don't really want to do the Home Run Derby, but I'll do it. If I'm an all-star. Yeah, I mean, listen. <laughs> hey, they needed the name. They needed somebody there to do the home run derby. And, they, you know, at least we got Bobby Witt. We got Bobby Witt there. And, I love Bobby um, Witt. I yeah. love, I love, I, I love our Royals. I've been wearing this. I have this L.A. hat on. I know. I didn't want, I was I didn't say, want to throw you under the bus. I was say, should, I I, should I mention T. Oscar no. Hernandez in the home run derby, so too? So, here's or? the thing. I got on this L.A. hat, and the only reason is because it's the only, it, I like it. And it, it just, matches. It, it matches well. your outfit. I love 47 brand. I love yeah. you know, the, the, they, the stuff they make. I just love it, right? So, I had this hat. I like the colors. It matched. So I, I'm wearing it, and on the way out here, people were like, go Giants, go Giants. They're yelling, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't give a, I don't give a, I don't give a hoot. <laughs> Nor a holler. <laughs> Nor a hoot, holler. Nor a holler. About your Dodgers. Yeah. Okay, I'm a Royals man. And they're like, whatever. <laughs> Literally, the guy was over right there. He's going, whatever, you suck. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, <laughs> it's just like. Oh, go smoke a turd, man. <laughs> Dude, you're getting hazed at a golf tournament. Oh, well, this place is the worst sometimes. Say, as yeah. far as, like, you know, yeah. people really get they really get comfortable with you. You're like, I don't know you. <laughs> don't know you. <laughs> get out of my face. Well, <laughs> athletes are used to it probably because they, they're, they're used to it in games and getting hazed when yeah. they're on the road. Yeah. Actors, you don't really – Well, you're not we, really you get razzed on, on the on oh, set. Oh, my God. What? Well, uh, the thing is, you know, everybody wants to do their best out here, right? Yeah. So I'm trying. It's not like I'm not trying, but I'm not. I'm an amateur golfer. You know, <laughs> yeah. if I hit it in the water, it's very likely. Or if I chunk a shot or I screw up something, that's going to happen. And then they, they, I, I one guy yelled the other day. <laughs> I, I did something terrible. Don't quit your day job, Riggle. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, and then you got to turn around and smile, right? Then you got to turn yeah. around. Hey, yeah, thumbs up, up. Dynamite. You're, the be- you're the best. <laughs> and I, I just want I want to wring his neck. I was like, but well, you know, what are you gonna do? It's it's deep, like, you're smiling and deep down. You're just just so angry. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to now. I was going to. I was thinking about it until that shot, and you told me to. That's good advice. <laughs> That's good advice. I don't know why my significant other hasn't given me that advice. But she is trying to get me to be a professional golfer. Yeah. You said that. I'm now on that track. Thank you, you, sir. There you go. You've now set me straight. (laughs) Uh, Rob Riggle is our guest. Rob, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, man, it's great to see you guys. I I hope to see you out there. Uh, we'll, we'll around try to, this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be uh, we'll be walking around the course a little bit today. And, and you to guys always up. have your finger on the pulse around here. So if uh, anything breaks, let me know. No, like I, like the, like windows or windows, people okay. going down. Yes, yeah. caddy fights. Love, Love it. Oh, All the dude. I do not want Jerry Rice. <laughs> I already said I picked up the biggest caddy. Jerry yeah. Rice's caddy. It's also apparently his bodyguard. I was told. Do not get in a fight with him. Yeah, but you almost hit him with a golf ball. The, I almost the other hit day. Jerry Rice with a golf ball we yesterday. Went, we went to break, and and Sterling's over you here. You don't want to be that guy. Well, no. Derek Carr shanked one over <laughs> here, right? And so I have golf balls, yeah. and Stu God's had left-handed clubs. I'm lefty, uh, and so I'm hitting him back into the range. I'm yeah. just hitting little flop and shots. You didn't you know. even check to Lefties. see if somebody was coming around the corner, and Jerry Rice was chipping, and Rice comes around the corner, the ball flies right by his face. No, it went over his head. It was a good. Uh, I got, I, it was, was well struck. Had would, you taken him out? Had you knocked he, him oh, out? Oh man. What would you have done? What would have been the What would have been the run? Play? Yeah, I would probably run run to the into the lake, my start exact, swimming. That would be my exact move: run, <laughs> just like uh, oh. just like an eight year old. Run, find run, the, find run the nearest away. person. I mean, when, when have them hold the golf club <laughs> and then run. Like here, you can you hold this for me? Hey, Go now. Yeah. Your fingerprints are on it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're I'm the good. One, you're the one. That, let's just say 
Rice would have been able to catch the golf ball if he just saw it come. That's how close it was. With his him. teeth. Just, <laughs> just, just a, it, would, it would have been amazing. He's yeah. the GOAT. He would have been able he to is, catch that. He is the GOAT. Yeah. But I was. Uh, I found out that Michael Pena is dealing with a back injury. So uh, you might Okay, be. see, that's the kind of that's yeah, the kind so, of inside skinny I need. Yeah, I was. Because uh, I'm going to go put some money down. I'm 2,500 to 1 to win this thing, guys. I'm going to go put a dollar on myself. Oh, you should. Just, five. just five. in case. Just, just in case. I'll, maybe I'll put a Finsky. A little fiver on me. <laughs> just on the outside chance that there's a massive outbreak of COVID yeah. and, and everybody in the field goes down. You're left. <laughs> You're just in a hazmat suit by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No chances. Exactly. No chances. <laughs> just have just one guy just razz every single person to get them out of their game, right? Yeah. Get them right out of the game. It's like Happy Gilmore. Uh, we need that guy. Yes. You, everybody somehow, get you're al- somehow you're allowed to hit someone with a car and the, and the tournament goes on. Yeah. So I think if century. you drive around and hit people and take them out yeah. and you're left. You never know what's going to happen. Guys, this is a good plan. This is a <laughs> really good plan. I just want to just a cut. Just a small little taste. <laughs> That's I ha- it. Just I have a had bit. worse ideas. All right, boys. Rob, have a good I appreciate one. it, man. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.